for my video this month, I'm going to talk about building heels. And I have three boots that are in different stages of heel building. I thought that would be a good demonstration. What I have here now is a pair of boots that needs the first heel layer. I build the heels one layer at a time and then level as I go. This one needs the first heel layer. For that, I've tried to choose a heel layer that's got a little bit of flexibility to it. I don't want a real soft, spongy heel layer, but at the same time, it's nice if it has a little flexibility because this first layer has to curve around that shank. I've kind of worked a curve into it. I'm also going to cut a slit right down the middle of it, and that will help it curve around the dome of the shank even more. Yeah. Now if you were paying attention, you notice that I pretty much only hit it right in the middle of the heel layer. That's because I don't want the sole to curve up and around the boot. I want the sole to come out flat and nice from the boot. And if I hammer all the way around, it's going to start making it curve. I just hammered it in the middle. Now I'm going to take it to the 5 and one and I'm going to pinch them together and that way they were encouraged to stand out straight and not fold and curve up around the boot. And now I'll go in make sure that they're attached well. This first layer is the one that doesn't want to stick because it has such a curve that it'll peel off at these front two corners if you're not careful. You've really got to pay attention there. I typically peg my heel layers, so I'm going to demonstrate pegging the heel layers and also nailing a completed heel. And I'm going to mark right where these pegs are. I'm going to stay in line with the double row of pegs on the sole. Then I'm going to look at where that the base of the heel ends because I want to go as far back as possible, but obviously I don't want the, the pegs to come up through the sole and show at the back of the heel either. This is a pegging awl and a pegging awl haft, the handle. I'm going to space these pegs about half inch apart. Now the pegs I'm using are size 7-9. They're bigger than the pegs that I used in the sole. And they're long enough. They go through three full layers of heel lifts and into the fourth. That should hold the heel layers together and hold the entire heel to the boot. Now I have one that has three layers of heel on it and so for the first two layers I pegged the first two layers and I also tried to use layers that had a little bit of flexibility to them and I cut a slit down the middle so that they would curve better. After the first two layers I start pegging every other layer. This third layer hasn't been pegged and it doesn't have a slit in it because by the third layer you're almost you're getting to level enough that as long as this level has a little bit of flexibility you really don't need to cut the slit and when you finish with the third layer you should be at level or almost level we've still got a tiny bit of dome here but it's not much I'm going to begin using my rubber heel cap to tell me where to put the pegs because this rubber heel cap is going to determine 
the angle of the back of the heel. And I'm going to cut off some at the breast of the heel so I don't put the rubber heel cap right to the front. I bring it back around a quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to position my pegs within that line and that way I know when I shape the heel I won't have pegs sticking out. I also stopped pegging a good 5 eighths of an inch from the breast of the heel. I don't want to peg all the way up here and then trim my heel breast and get into the pegs. Okay, I have enough heel layers on this one for my heel. So I'm going to trim off the heel breast and then I'm going to nail this heel. And if you notice, each heel layer is just a little bit in front of the other one. They're kind of like stair steps up. And that way I've got enough excess here to, to trim it off and get a nice clean edge. This is the paint stick that I went to the hardware store and got and I sloped it off on the back edges and glued sandpaper to it. And I use it to clean up my heel breast. It seems like no matter how cleanly you cut it, it can still use a little touch up. This is the rubber heel cap size I'm using. Don't have much to trim off. And that's where I'll put the nails. And these are the types of nails that I'll use to nail this heel on. And they should go all the way through the heel and up into the, the sole and a little bit into the insole to really hold that heel on. These are 10 eighths iron shoe nails. They bend really easily. I'm sure you're going to see me bend some. And you must have a hammer with a knurled face in order to put these in the heel. A regular hammer is just going to slide off. And in other good news, I finally found a source for hammers with knurled faces. So you can buy one of these off of my website if you need one. Just get it started. And you hit them a little bit of a at a time like that. It's the only way to get them in. Like with pegs, you have to get it seated and then just go whack and drive it all the way in. But with these, the technique is just a little bit at a time and always making sure you're exactly straight on. And there I was not straight on. Like that. If they're a little bit farther in, you can straighten them up and keep going. But you run the risk of it turning sideways and coming out the side of the heel too. This one's just not behaving, but I'm going to try straightening this one.
And now you need to take a nail set and drive them in a loop. 